Welcome to Nina Designs, where beautiful jewelry begins. Today we're going to make lovely starburst earrings using ball chain, silver links, some earring tops, 26 gauge wire, pliers, and wire cutters. So in order to get started, we're going to take our ball chain and we're going to wrap it around the link. We're going to leave a little bit of extra and we're going to snip it. So again, we're snipping it longer than we need so that we have a little extra to work with. Then we're going to take our 26 gauge wire and we are going to anchor it by wrapping it around the ball chain and the link in between two of the balls. So very slowly, the first wrap is the hardest because you're creating an anchor and the chain can be a little bit squirrely. Um, you just want to nestle the wire right in between two of the balls. We're going to leave a little tail on both the chain and the wire. And then once we get that anchor, we're just going to make our way around, wrapping the wire one after another in between the little beaded balls on the ball chain. This is a great effect because it looks like it's super, super detailed and hard, but because all the beads are already attached on the chain, it's actually pretty straightforward. But you still want to go slow and careful so that the wire is pulled evenly and tightly all the way around. And it creates a very nice radial effect, almost like the spokes on a bicycle. You can see that we're holding the chain up along the edge of the silver link. And that creates, a, again, a nice trim and a contrast with the gold and the silver. So now as we come around to the end here, we're going to leave a gap, so we're not going to wire wrap all the way until the chain tips meet. We're going to leave a little gap, and then we're going to trim the chain, and we're going to do a double wrap of the wire. And that will anchor the end so it doesn't come unwrapped. And then we're going to do the same on the beginning side. We trim the train and we do a double wrap of the wire and there's still going to be a little tiny gap which is where we're going to put our earring top, our earring hook. And then you can see we're using the pliers just to tuck the tips of the wire so they don't get caught on anything. And now we take the earring top and we're just going to Make the hole a little bit bigger, gently, with the round nose plier, and then coax it open and slip the link in where the gap is so that it snuggles nicely between the chain tips. And there you go, a beautiful sunburst earring. And you can see how nicely they look as a pair. So there you have your beautiful sunburst earrings. This technique works well. If you experiment with it, you can do a lot of different variations on the design. So have fun and visit us at ninadesigns.com for all your jewelry making supplies.